Hey guys, Cindy Arjo here with My Arts Endeavors. How are you doing? I am doing pretty well. Um, this is going to be part two of the oops uh, video that I did for our hop. Um, these are the tags that I made with the Deco Gel. Uh, I can I'll never say the name of that right, so I have to find the bottle. It's Deco Foil Transfer Gel. So this was the oops that, you know, I let it dry too much, but I used the heat gun to, to fix it. Now, I got thinking about it, and the unfused canvas is really floppy, right? So what I was going to do, and I, I finally found all the ingredients that I want to use. I want to try different mediums on these to see um, how they react. I'm going to start with glossy accents. That's going to go on one. Diamond glaze. If you don't see that one, there's the glossy accent. Diamond glaze is going to go on another one. Golden self-leveling clear gel is going to go on another one. I'm going to do some UTEE, which is the ultra thick embossing enamel. I'm going to put that on one. I want to try just some plain old beeswax. So I'm going to try that on one. And then the last one, I don't have it here yet because I don't have it um, fixed up, is epoxy. I want to put epoxy or resin, whichever you want to call it, on one. So what I'm going to do is I will show you the bottle. I'll get it on there. We're going to have to let them all dry, probably overnight. And then we'll come back and look at the results and see what they all look like. So I hope you guys enjoy. Chat in a bit.
Okay, guys, we got our results. Yay! All right, um, so if you guys remember, which it's the next day, so I'm just kind of recapping for myself. Um, I tried six different... Oh, sorry, hang on. i got to shut my phone off. Um, I tried six different toppings, toppings, uh, top layers, there we go, um, on these. And let's see what happened. This is a self-leveling clear gel. I can tell you, I like that. I love how shiny it is. I love how it brought out um, the sparkle, the color. I think it just made it really uh, a lot brighter than it was. Um, and it's also, this is actually quite a thick piece of vinyl, but it's it's relatively stiff. I mean, yeah, I could, you know, bend it and break it, but I don't want to. I'm going to leave it like that. So this I really liked. That's one of them. This one had the glossy accents on it. Um, this is where, unfortunately, I spilled a little bees. Oh, the beeswax came right up. Yay! Um, so this is the glossy accents. Again, I like it. It made that color just really shine through. So that's okay, too. I like that one. Beeswax. Okay, I've tried beeswax a few times, and I'm to the point where I'm not a big beeswax fan. I know maybe, you know, um, I'm not using it right, or I'm expecting different results, or I'm not really sure. But this, eh, it's, it's, eh. Just, yeah, I'm not, you know, real thrilled with it. I may end up um, just remelting it and taking all the beeswax off. I don't like the feel of it. It's just, yeah, so that's an eh for me. All right, this one is the um, UTEE, the Ultra Thick Embossing Enamel. And I think I could have put a couple more layers on this, but I really like it. Um... You know, I think it turned out well for what I did to it. Again, it made those colors just shine. You know, I know camera doesn't do them justice, um, but it just made them sh this shine. So I, I would use that again. That's really cool. Uh, this was the Diamond Glaze. As you can see, whoops, maybe you can't see. Um, there we go. It has actually bent up the piece of vinyl, which I don't think that's an issue. Um, you know, when I use it, I'll be taping it down anyways, or else just, you know, be using it some other way. I love the color and the coating. I mean, it's clear, but I love how it made this copper really shine. So this is another one I definitely will use again. Same with the self-leveling clear gel and the glossy accents. I will be using those again. I really like that. This one is the acrylic, and I still have some more acrylic here. Um, the acrylic... Again, it's a beautiful shine, beautiful color. It did not make it um, as hard as I wanted it to, as stiff. But you know what? All I have to do is keep putting coats of the resin on it, the acrylic resin, um, epoxy, whatever you want to call it. And it will definitely stiffen it up. But I love the shine and I love what it did to these different colors of the foil. So that is my round two, my experiment with these things, um, just to see what would happen with the different products. Um, you know, what kind of, see if I can put that there, um, what kind of results I'd get with them. Again, that's the beeswax. This is the glossy accents. Um, here's the golden self-leveling gel. And I, like I said, I don't have the epoxy picture here, but this is the epoxy. So there you go. There's my uh, part two of my oops video. And yeah, I learned quite a bit. I actually learned quite a bit about these different um, mediums, the different toppings to put on. Um, I normally don't use diamond glaze. I don't think I've ever used diamond glaze, but I kind of like it. I, I, you know, it's a beautiful finish. It's nice and shiny. So I, I you know, I definitely will be using this more in my art. This embossing enamel, like I said, I think I'd have to put a few more coats on it to really get it with the, the shine and the smoothness that I want, but that worked well. Beeswax, eh. Um, glossy accents, I like glossy accents, and I really like this self-leveling clear gel. Um, I haven't used that much of this. Matter of fact, it's pretty much full. So I've learned that, yeah, I can use this, and it's really cool. I mean, it'll make everything shiny and... 
it just brings out colors and that's what I love so I hope you guys have enjoyed don't forget to check out everybody else in the hop um, you know I'm sure I wouldn't be surprised I can't say it for positive but I'm pretty sure we're gonna be doing this again somewhere down the line but I hope you learn just as much as I did um, if you didn't you know I'm I'm newer to some of this stuff so maybe the beginners it'll help them out all right guys have a great day don't forget to have fun that's what life's all about happy creating and have fun with the hop talk to you soon